everybody and welcome back to the season opener of Rocket League. We got our St. Clair Saints Academy taking on K uh, Kennesaw State University and we are going to get it right into game one. Let's get it underway. Ryan, I mean, first off from what we can see, Quint coming out with a save from a shot from Joel, Kennesaw State lineup looking like Joel Beast and I think that Eli. says Eli, yes, Eli trying to dribble past Quint not going to happen. Now Quint starts to man the attack under one, and he's going to try to find the 50 under Riyad. Eli with space now, opting to go low on the 50, but it's going to be sent out by Yukir, which I believe is Kamal. And uh, yeah, that would be the case. Speaks to the 100 pad. Looking like St. Clair is doing a pretty good job right now of stopping incoming pressure. They're just trying to get a feel for it right now. Riyad opting to send one to the backboard, trying to maybe find a pass, but it's not going to find anybody. Shot going a little bit wide, and the clear is going to come out from Kennesaw. There's even a shot on target from Quint is not going to be able to find the goal there. Joel is able to find the save. It's going to be a clearance coming out from Kennesaw, Kennesaw State University. But St. Clair College have been on the aggression early, but Kennesaw going to go on the counter attack. Now St. Clair able to get it back. He's going to take it into the corner. Maybe looking for a pass to a teammate in the middle. That's a great pass, and Quint's going to be able to find the finish. St. Clair College take an early 1 0 lead. Right, and that was a really good job there by Kamal, utilizing the ramp on the side wall to just lift that ball up, gets the pass. It's too fast for Joel to react off the backboard. Maybe a little bit of better positioning there would have led to a backboard save, but it's not going to be the case. The pass beats the defender. Quint able to put it in. Saints go up 1-0. A very good start for them on the counterattack, but Beast is going to get a demo really, really early. It's going to be saved away by Quint, though. It's going to be a 50-50 ball here. It's going to be... A going towards Kennesaw State University and they're going to be on the attack here. Beast is going to look for a pass towards the middle. It's in danger zone, but it won't be going in. Joel won't find the finish off the crossbar. Eli is going to look for an attack of his own, but it's cleared away by the Saints. So now they look to go and attack their own Beast. is going to find a nice little touch towards the target, but Quint able to hit that one away. Eli is going to find the demo there. Now it's a counterattack for the side of the Saints, though. Can they find the pass towards the middle there? Going to be a shot on target, but an easy save from Eli. Nobody's going to be there for the follow-up. And now it's going to be Kennesaw State on the counter-attack. Going to look for a shot of their own. Dangerous ball by Eli there, but not be able to follow up anybody there. Joel's going to have to find the clearance here. Two minutes gone by. St. Clair looking good in this game one. Right, and I mean, I kind of like what I'm seeing out of St. Clair, but what I am noticing is that Kennesaw is getting the better of them when it comes to demolitions. Now, obviously, we know it's going to put them back and it's going to delay time for Kennesaw. So if they can just stay strong on defense, this might, you know, these demos, this early game aggression, it could come through and give them something. Kamal's going to say no to that, though. He tries to get a double top of his own, maybe pass down, but it's not going to work. Eli with the clear doesn't seem like he has that many boost, and he's going to have to wave dash to get it downfield, trying to flip with the challenge, but it's not going to happen. Quint beats the man out, trying to get the air dribble starter. It's not going to happen. Kamal now taking it through the air. He has zero boost now. they got to just kind of realize that they have to play a little more safe here. They have Riyad back with a lot of boost, and he is going to be the main guy to take on this defense. A Saints do clear out, though. Quint in front trying to get the weight dash, and he's going to get the challenge. Center coming out from Riyad, but it's going to be no one to shoot. Instead, Kamal opting to take it low. First touch off the backboard, trying to find the redirect, but it's not going to happen. He has to go back and clear. Play it safe. Play time. Let St. Clair grab boost. And now you can move up. Saints doing a really good job of time delay so far. A great save there by Kamal is able to clear that one out. Yes, Eli looks for a goal there. Now it's going to be a counter attack. 100 boost. Can't find the 50 50 or no. Eli's there for the defense. It's going to be a cross coming in. In, and it's a dangerous location, but nobody from the Saints can really follow up on that one. But Quinn's gonna take it over one defender, gonna look to take it around the second, puts it in a very dangerous spot. But Beast finds the save as Kennesaw State University looks to regroup. Joel takes it around his defender, and it's gonna be a dangerous attack here coming up from Kennesaw. Can they get a shot on target here? Eli is gonna look for something, a great demo there coming out though from Riyadh, and they're able to stop the attack. Now it's gonna be a great counter attack opportunity here. Is Pass. It's going to go over to Quint. He's going to be able to tap it a little bit forward, and it's going to be a cross coming in. Anybody there for the follow? Not for that time, as it's going to be Kansas State University looking for something with a minute left. They have to go quickly and find a goal sent to overtime, but this is maybe a chance for St. Clair to put it themselves ahead, and they do a great goal there from Kamal to make it a 2-0 game, and this should be close to putting a nail in the coffin in this first game. And I was wondering as the Saints kept on these attacks, you know, it didn't seem like Kennesaw was able to really get too much boost. There was some good stealing going on in the corners. It sets up for a beautiful chance, and Kamal not going to let that double slip from his fingers. Drilling it in, he puts the Saints up 2-0 with a minute left, and with a tight kickoff going on now and some 50s coming out, I would say St. Clair 
player looked pretty good in a game that has mostly been on the defensive side for Kennesaw State. Yeah, Kennesaw can't get too much going. Sinclair on the attack. You're looking for a third off the post, but the finish may be there. No great defense from Kennesaw to escape that one without a goal, but 30 seconds left. Saints have all of the aggression, and they should be able to close this one out. Let's see. Mal can do here on the counter attack. Gonna find a pass to himself. Is it gonna be anyone to follow that one up? No. It'll be cleared away with, by Eli and with 20 seconds left. This is more than surely game one going over to the Saints. Right, and I mean, 18 seconds left, anything can happen, but all the Saints have to do is control time. That ceiling pinch is going to delay everything. Just keeping the ball, getting these 50s into the corners, denying Kennesaw State a boost. Oh, it's going more. to be how they seal the matchup. And when you keep boost starving and keep bumping, putting these defenders out of position, you see people in the front line like Quint getting those bumps, such a crucial part of the game there, just allowing enough space for the shot to creep past Joel. St. Clair doing a really good job right now of having that really aggressive play style in the back line, and as the kickoff goes through, this is going to be all she wrote. Saints are going to go up in the series 1-0. Great start for them. Also, not allowing a single goal in as Kenneth so was going to look for something last second here, but the defense of the Saints proving how good they are. Yet again, a 3-0 victory and a very, very strong start to the series. Yeah, and I would say uh, for sure they looked great. I do love what I was seeing out of Kamal for sure. He seems like kind of that early mechanical uh, beast for the Saints. I really like just the positions he was in. Riyad did a really good job, I think, of just holding the you know back line as that third man. You know, just finding you know not messing up any of his rotations, getting a few uh, getting a few clears here and there, but really just mainly just not messing up in positioning. Quint was kind of like the glue that held everything together, even contributing on the saves, and for sure, big time uh, defense from the Saints. I really like what I'm seeing so far. No complaints on the side of me. Absolutely, it's a great start uh, to the new season if they can keep this momentum going. And uh, if, as you said, a very strong game. They played a very balanced game, and as you said, maybe on the aggression a little bit more, Kennesaw State just couldn't seem to find uh, too many attacks that game. They did have a couple of shots, but nothing too dangerous. What do you think they can do to maybe bring themselves a bit closer in this game too? Well, what I would say is I think they have to lean into this demo game a little bit. I think they have to start messing with Riyadh if I were Kennesaw. The other major problem is you're not scoring, but I've seen Kennesaw almost triple committing to a bunch of their attacks, not keeping a man in the midfield, uh, let alone back. You know, sometimes you'll see a lot of pro teams, they can rotate fast. They don't necessarily have to keep a man back. They'll keep him around the midfield. But the guy in the midfield will go up to shoot before the rotation even happens. So cutting rotation is, is what Kennesaw is doing. And it's just not buying them any goals in that first game. Hopefully a little more success from them if you're a Kennesaw fan. As Quint tries oh to start my. things off hot, and that was almost a very crucial miss, but just cleared out. Kamal, he has the first touch. And oh no, it <laughs> seems our stream is DC'd. I don't really know. Yeah, I don't, I, you know, we lost the feed for a second there. You know, we can only hope that Kamal, you know, just got a triple reset <laughs> backboard psycho across the entire arena, then goes back and psychos it back into Kennesaw's net. If the score shows up 1-0, that is the calm that I will be throwing out for sure. He definitely did that. Uh, but, you know, so far, let's just talk about, uh, again, game one, right? Like, yeah. I think that, if you're Kennesaw right now, there are a lot of things you need to nail down. You can't let uh, St. Clair, for the main part, steal your boost. They're kind of getting into their corners a lot and just taking that away. Well, As we get scored. back into the game, it seems like Kennesaw was actually the one who scored. So I guess uh, whatever mechanic I was talking about, <laughs> no, yeah, it just didn't work. You know, it's, it's okay. We hit those like nine times out of ten. This was just the one time out of ten we didn't. Sure. Redrock coming down the field. Does the shot come out? No. Going to be 50'd out by Eli. Bang down to the corner. And can anyone from Kennesaw see it? No. Team's playing a little bit of volume ball right now is bang after bang go down the field Kamal with a little bit of a beat he's going to wave dash to try to force the 50 it's in center but it's going to be cleared out by Beast yeah I mean we didn't see the first goal for Kennesaw but we see the Saints are coming back now with a bit of vengeance they're trying to get th th this score all tied up but won't be able to find anything there Riyadh's gonna have to win the ball here he's gonna have to look for a pass to a teammate he's gonna be able to find something towards the middle there Quint you could see he's trying to do some displacements in the net there couldn't find too much and Kennesaw are able to find a little stop there, but as I say that, the attack comes through from Kamal. He can't find it over the defender. Great defense from there from Eli Quint. Maybe getting ready to go for a shot here. Nice pass there from Riyadh, but it's great defense again from Kennesaw State. And now they have an attack of their own. Saints doing a bit of over committing, and it's going to cost them. St. Clair College go down 2 0 as a great counter attack came out from Kennesaw State University. Right, and what I will say is Kennesaw State, this is working because they have more boost for these counterattacks as they did in as they did in game one. 
that's kind of the main uh, thing that I'm seeing right now. Sinclair not doing a very good job of cutting the rotations, getting any bumps in. They're allowing Kennesaw to just play off of their own clears. And sometimes when you have a little bit of an overcommit there, errors do happen. No one's perfect in Rocket League. As the bang comes out, it's going to be looking like for another shot, but it's not going to quite make it. 50 comes out as well. Center from Eli, but it should just be cleared out. It's going to be 50 off the wall again now from Joel. He's trying to find a center, but it's not going to find anything. Shooter going off the side wall on a free jump, but it's not going to work. Eli very close to that. As we see a pinch off the side wall, setting up the teammate on the other on the ceiling. Going to be a ceiling pass. Down to another shot. It's another oh, pass. And there we so go. Good. That is absolutely perfect. A beautiful team play by Kamal, and I believe it was Quint. Yeah. Yes, Quint going off the mid as well. He's going to pre-jump, reads the backboard, and it's going to be all left there for Kamal. Kennesaw had no idea what was going on, and the second that play from Riyadh is made to clear the ball, it was just all dimes going forward. That was a great team goal from St. Clair. Now that's going to swing the momentum a bit in their favor. Let's see what they can do on the attack here. It's going to be Kamal, 1v2, able to take it around one. Is anyone there to help him out? Bump. Oh, there's so so many opportunities here, but the ball is missed there. Counter attack coming up from Kennesaw, but the defense will be there for the Saints. Quint fighting for it up in the field. Shot goes off of the ceiling. Can they find a follow up here? Riyadh's going to be able to take it into the corner, but it's cleared out by Beast as a counter attack from Kennesaw yet again. Seems like their only way of attack here. It's in a dangerous position, but Quint will find the clearance. Eli going to look for something there, but Quint does find the demo there, which should give the Saints a lot of room to work with Beast. We'll find a little touch into the corner and we'll force the Saints to go for a clearance. Nice little 50 there won by the Saints, but Eli is going to find the pass towards the middle. It will be cleared out yet again. Nice little touch out of the air, and that looks like it's going on target, but Beast is there for the save. Quint not able to get that 50. Riyadh is going to take it around his defender, but Beast is there in the middle to take it. It's going to be a nice clear there from Kamal as it's going to be taken back by Eli. But Riyadh is going to look for a dangerous touch. It is in the corner now in St. Clair. They can win a 50 ball here. Could maybe get a goal of their own. They still desperately need one with a minute 40 seconds left, but they're going to be able to find the clearance here yet again. And again, a lot of time left in this Rocket League game. What St. Clair needs to do right now is exactly that. They got to get more physical. They got to start messing with Kennesaw. Quint has the flip off the ceiling. Often you use it, beats one defender. He just has to play oh, the double, and he's going to do so exactly weird. that. Perfect play from Quint as well. He noticed as the defenders were looking a little bit shaken up on the back line, and that's going to be from some boost, starvation, and pressure coming out from one of the other Saints players before the ceiling play was made. Really good job there from Quint, taking it high, taking his time. Often you use the flip to beat the defender. Saints tied up 2-2 with a minute 30 left to go. Great goal there for the Saints, and they're going to be able to win the kickoff for free, but three defenders back for Kennesaw. You can see they're kind of slowing down Kennesaw, and they both miss the ball there. You can see them falling apart maybe as the Saints take all the momentum now. Let's see if they can follow up. Kennesaw are really dangerous on these counterattacks, but other than that, they haven't been able to find too much. Quint in the air, so deadly, looking for something yet again. Won't find it there. Kamal is going to look for a pass towards the middle of the field, but Eli is going to be able to break that one up. And now it's Kennesaw on the counterattack. Have the two on one, but it's a Great save wow. coming out from Riyadh to keep the Saints in the game. Now St. Clair going to look for something going the other way, but the clear will be there. Kamal is going to be able to look for a pass, maybe towards the middle, just over Riyadh, not able to find it there. As It's going to be Kennesaw yet again on that counter, but St. Clair do have members back this time. They'll be able to stop that one. But Eli is going to look for a shot on target, won't be able to find it as Riyadh is there for the save. It's going to be to coming towards the other net. B is going to look for a pass towards Eli. It's a dangerous clearance, but it will be able to make it now. Quint looking for a play of his own, won't be able to find it as three oh, members collide there. It's taken over Kamal. Now it's going to be a counter attack for the side of Kenso, if they can get a shot on target here. He will be a goal, but he missed! He the missed. open net, he hit it into the post. 15 seconds left. Quinn's gonna be able to take it over his defender, gonna look for a pass for, towards a teammate, but won't be able to find it there. Eli on the counter attack, won't be able to find much, and this is a pos possession that Saints can desperately score on. What a save! What a save from Beast, and with one second left, we're gonna be going to overtime in this game too. I mean, you can just feel the pressure coming off of these players. You cannot miss an opportunity like that if you're Kennesaw. Oh. Horrible decision from Riyadh to challenge there and has the team bump and the, the double commit. It's just absolutely <laughs> not what you want to see. Kennesaw was able to somehow miss that shot and then keep it alive as well. I thought the Saints were going to take, but now we got to focus on overtime as Eli clearing into the left corner. He's trying to find Joel on the redirect. Oh, that's happen, but that's a really crucial demo right now. Saints, you have to clear. Try to allow Quint to get some time to get some boost, maybe pad up. Finding the 100 is going to be what Riyadh tries to do, but he's going to miss the corner. Luckily for him, Quint able to clear, but only on six boosts right now. He has to try to force a 50. Riyadh's going to be the first one to engage. He's staying on the ball, just trying to pre-flip just to get the 50 again. 
Just trying to burn time. Kamal with a second challenge of his own, but now Eli's on a breakaway, trying to force the flick, but it's not going to happen. Really good fifth by Kamal. Pass downfield, but it's not going to find anyone. And this should be setting up Joel nicely for a shot or a pass. However, it's not going to come out. Quint dodges one. He's over the second oh, nice. now. And he just has to try to lead this one through, trying to find the backboard. Maybe a pass out to his teammate. Oh. Backboard again. Where's the third? It's not going to happen. Beast, the one to clear it out. Seems like Kamal was just trying to play it safe. And now Kennesaw State out of their back end again. Yeah, that was a great opportunity for the Saints. Could not find the Riyadh's gonna look for a shot there. Won't be able to find anything there. Quinn's gonna take it up in the air. Great demo there onto B. Saints have been of advantage. It's gonna be a pass towards the middle, saved out by Joel. Riyadh's gonna be able to find to the 50 there, but Kennesaw's gonna grab possession for a little bit. Nice little bump there. This Quinn's gonna have to win this 50 ball here. Will take it around his defender. Will take it over one more, and that's a great opportunity for Quinn. That. He's gotta score that one, and he does great play from him there. Give St. Clair a 2-0 lead in the series. Oh man, he's looking like Vinny Jr. right now. I mean, he's gonna put it off the sidewall. He's going to get the defender as well. Caught lacking on the ground. Just a nice pop up and a really good job by Quint there to notice the uh, defenders just spread out everywhere. They didn't have a right, the right rotation going in. The third man commits way too far up the field on a challenge that honestly could have been baited out. Shadow defense maybe you know a little more on the side that you would want to take there if you're Kennesaw, but it's not going to happen. And man. That open net miss is going to come back yeah. and bite them hard. That is unbelievable. I can't, but I mean, I really hate <laughs> to say it. I don't want to grill players or anything, but you can't miss that opportunity. No. That is just something that you, you have to score, right? I mean, a mistake like that just can't be, you, you can't overlook it. You have to score those if you're going to win in this league. And uh, it just goes to show you, it's Rocket League is a very unforgiving game where if you just waste your chances and you don't, you know, turn them into actual product, you're gonna get burnt on it as well. Yeah. The mental probably going down from that as well, you know, so Saints going into the OT, I'm not surprised that they pulled this one out, but you know, it's just sometimes the way the cookie crumbles, Saints go up 2 in the series. Yeah, now they're gonna be looking for a 3 -0. Kennesaw, that was their opportunity to really score. If they'd score, that would be 1-1 right now, you know, they would be on the upper hand, but I believe we have a substitution coming in from uh, Kennesaw State University. It's going to be Kwonk coming in now, uh, the third player there. So maybe a bit of a lineup change and something to spice it up to maybe bring the comeback against St. Clair College. Right, and I mean, it's just going to, we're just going to see what happens here. It's interesting. You know, it could really change the whole team's outlook on the game as we get underway now, going to be cleared into the Saints area. And right now, St. Clair, they just have to try to, like, stay calm. You know, it's the start of the game, so you don't want to overcommit too badly. A little bit of a missed chance, though, from Kamal. He's going to opt to challenge on the 50 right now, and it's going to set up Quint. Flip reset. How's he going to use it? He's just going to try to beat the second defender, but it's not going to happen. Beast, the better man to it. Good recovery by Beast as well. Maybe going to look for a bump. No, just helping to rotate down as Quant gets the 50. Well defended by the Saints as we head down 30 seconds in our match. And Quinn's going to be able to take it in the air so effective. The series in the air doing so much work up there. Taking around all those defenders. Looking for an aerial goal yet again. What a save from Kwon coming out of nowhere to put that one away. It's a nice little center from Riyadh, but Kamal won't be able to find that one in the air. It's Beast on the counterattack. Going to put a bit of danger on the same side. But Quint is able to take around both of his defenders. Joel, though, is going to be able to clear this one out. Get this boost reset and going to be able to control it with that one. One minute gone. A couple of dangerous opportunities for both sides, but no goals just us yet. Kamal's gonna be able to tip that one out of midair. Takes the demo there as Beast takes him out. Now it's gonna be Kamal looking for a one-on-one -on -one here. Great save from Kwong there. Quint gonna win that 50, but Joel will be there to clear that one out as his teammate's gonna be able to miss that one. Is anyone gonna be there for the follow? No, Kwong with a shot on target. Very dangerous one that that Riyadh finds. A amazing save there onto the crossbar. Now we'll look for a shot of his zone. Does that have enough power to get in there? It does. Beast won't be there to save it away. And Riyadh almost made a bit of a mistake. Able to make the great play there and find the goal, giving a St. Clair a 1-0 lead. And it's just a missed touch by Joel on the other end that's going to set that up, right? I mean, they had the Saints really on the back ropes there. Riyadh having to force a beautiful save on the redirect real quick to just put it off his own backboard. But if you're Joel, you need to put that ball further than midfield. If you leave it there, the Saints rotating down are going to find that. 
Saints go up 1-0, and right now I think the story of this matchup is just simply a lot of mistakes being made by Kennesaw State, and they're not minute ones at that. Really big mistakes that are costing them. Quinn oh going to get around one, he's going to get around the second save. save off the backboard, but now the setup coming through. Quonk trying to be the one to deal with it, trying to follow up the ball for a 50, and he's going to get it his way. Should set up a player for a clear, maybe a shot if they want to take it slow, flicking over the first one, and now he's going to get challenged by Quinn. Quinn doing a really good job right now of just kind of starting the offense, right? He seems like kind of the spark plug that the Saints are kind of getting right now, and Kamal is usually the one to finish as he is trying to start an attack of his own. Quinn, it's just going to be picked off, though, by Joel, and now as they move down, the Saints are in a 1v2 position, but with both attackers on the same side of the field and no one back post, it's going to be a little hard as the clear comes out. Kamal oh, has a backboard. Dangerous. However, it's just going to be a little too far. The Saints shooter not able to get to it. A little bit of a dangerous challenge there, and as the save comes out from Beast, Riyadh is just going to be able to miss on the challenge. Quonk able to find the better of him. Flip reset coming in, but it's not going to be challenged by Quint. And right now, Joel in a little bit of a 1v1 in the air. And on the other screen right now, if you look at our top right, you will see that that varsity and West Virginia University College game has uh, started. And it seems like St. Clair is actually up right now, 1-0. So a really good job from the boys right now who are doing a really good job of uh, just you know, keeping that lead. And as we announce that, though, Quint is going to be able to put another one into the Kennesaw net. Let's see what happens. Quonk on a bad challenge. It's going to just be read out by Quint. And as the corner read comes out, Quint's going to be the first one to it. Slots it in. 2-0 so far for St. Clair. Yeah, and St. Clair College Academy against Kennesaw, they're going to be looking to finish that one up in a 3-0 here. Going to try and play good Rocky League for two more minutes. They played so well all series. Kennesaw really putting up a big fight, but in a big hole here, just struggling to find a goal in this third game. As I say that, though, they get a very dangerous chance, but it's saved away by Kamal, I believe. Great goaltending there, but another shot on target. Quinn's there to save it out again. Kennesaw really putting on the aggressive uh, boots on here, but St. Clair able to play perfect defense, and they're able to find the clearance. Is that a shot on target? No, it's not. Could have been a dangerous opportunity at that, but St. Clair just trying to burn time off the clock. A minute 30, and they're very, very close to getting this 3-0. And as the challenge is going to come in, Flick coming out from Kennesaw, and it's not going to find its mark. Challenge out by Kamal. Pinch coming through, and now it's going to try to beat the setup, but it's going to just be cleared back. If we look at the West Virginia oh. side as well. Oh, well, you know what? I will get to that in a minute, but first we got to finish off this series. Kennesaw in a really dangerous posi position from the Saints. That was also a really good shot on our varsity side, but focusing back on the academy side, seems like Beast just able to get the finish right now. 1-2 so far uh, on the side, leaning towards the Saints, obviously, as the kickoff goes underway. That's a really good start on the kickoff. Oh, Can the, the save, save come through from Quonk? Yes, it will. However, he's left a man open in the front of the net, and it's not going to be shot in either. Flip reset from Beast. Can he use the flip? No. Going to miss there as he ran out of boost. Redirect right now. Ria trying to find a passer, trying to find a shooter. It's not going to work. And right now, St. Clair College just have to try to sit oh, pretty and burn good. time as that pinch comes out. Oh, Is the defender goal. going to get to it? No, not quite. A little bit of a wonky 50 right there from Joel as he's going to just not get the right end of the challenge onto Kamal. Kamal absolutely blasts it down the other side of the field. Kennesaw defender just not able to get to it in time. And that one's going to be hurting for Kennesaw. They were really making their way back to this game, able to make it 2-1, but St. Clair just finding a goal from full field. Nobody's going to be touching the ball on that kickoff there as Quinn takes it over his defenders. That's another dangerous opportunity cleared out by Kwong. Their beast going to be on the counterattack. St. Clair just need to be safe here. Make sure they don't make any crucial mistakes that just lead to easy goals as Kwong is going to be looking for something here. It's a great clearance there coming up from Riyadh. That's another open Should net. Be Should be another goal as Quint takes out the defender and that is going to wrap it up, I believe. That was Kennesaw's last push, really. They sent everyone on that attack and just could not find the goal left. Their goal open. St. Clair College make it 4-1 and it will surely close the series out in 3-0 fashion. Right, I mean, you got to feel bad for Beast there. 1v2 scenario, he tries to go up the backboard for the squishy save, but it's just not on target. And obviously, you know, easier said than done at first with just squishy save alone. Then you also got to remember that you have Quinn bearing down on you looking for a bump or a demo. So it just isn't an easy position, and it's not one that a defender ever wants to be in. Quinn looking for a ground pinch. It's going to actually just be kind of a ceiling touch on the double, and now he's going to look to set up a shooter in the end. This is going to be the nail in the coffin, though, if you are St. Clair. And, uh, you know, there's a really good job from the guys. I think uh, the academy team looked pretty good, and I expect to see more great things from them as the last shot effort comes through. Going to be cleared away from the corner. Just a couple of the, you know, see if we can score one last second goal. No, not going to happen, but it doesn't matter in the end. St. Clair uh, Academy doing a really good job sweeping Kennesaw State.
And oh my, <laughs> I definitely did not expect this out of St. Clair uh, Varsity to start off. They are absolutely red hot right now. 4-0 over West Virginia University. Air dribble coming in, but Christian going to be the first one to it. As he misses right there, it's going to be on Vesh to have the next challenge, and he's going to clear it downfield. Angel doing a really good job of cutting rotation. Now he's going to try to get a 50 on the Spoods, not going in his favor. Tool playing shadow defense, trying not to get bumped there. Spoods going from the bump, setting up Christian for the pass. Where's Vesh, though? Can he find the shot? No, not quite. A Spoods didn't cut back in rotation. Vesh thought of better to stay back in defense. Angel with a wave dash to challenge. And so far, I must say, well, we didn't get too much coverage of this first game. Whatever the Saints have been doing so far, it has been working really well as the redirect coming out. But it should be an easy save from Vesh. Just cleared off his back line. Going to be able to have the backcourt defense to clear as well. So right now, if you are uh, West Virginia, you know, again, you just can't let this really get to you mentally. They're a really good team, especially in the CRL. You can't let this bug you. You can't let this get to your mental. Obviously, Rocket League being a huge game determined on the mentality of the players going into each and every game. So if you're West Virginia, you just have to kind of brush this one off and get back on your feet. But if you're St. Clair, you're looking to keep the tempo going, keep the pressure going. And as Tool hits this ball, it's going to be the last touch of the game. That drops down. St. Clair take a great start to a 1-0 lead on this series. Great start for them. You see Christian has three goals. Vesh got one. Uh, we don't know. We, as you said, we didn't see too much of what happened there, but they were able to find some amazing goals early on. So a great start to see for them as they look to pull off what I would say would be a little bit upset if they can take this one down. But starting off far old, they're definitely not looking like the underdogs. Right, I mean, I think they, uh, you know, again, I, I, you know, we didn't really get too much coverage on it, but so far, whatever they're doing is working. I mean, it seems like Christian's kind of the guy sending everything home, but I want to touch on Spoots because I believe it was him who I saw had three assists, so kind of being that uh, maestro on the pitch for St. Clair, right? And I mean, Vesh, you know, he did a good job in that little final play, playing back on the defensive end, making good decisions so far. The Saints, I like what they're rotating well with. They seem good. A really big thing that I noticed back when I was casting them in the eSports uh, uh, Canadian National Slick Finals was that on the rotations they would leave Spoons in a lot of 1v2 situations. It seems like that was kind of their weakness and that were what that was what most teams were kind of getting them on. So we'll see if that changes obviously, you know, it's going to be a lot better for this team. They seem to have kind of formed a little bit of a strong bond with each other. And I mean, they honestly should, because when you're, when you're trying to qualify for RLCS, you're not going up against nobodies. They're all going to be names within the top 128 that everybody who is a you know a hardcore follower or fan, you're going to know these names, right? So they've had good competition, and uh, I hope they're ready. And it seems like they are, really, as we get into game two with a minute off the board. Yeah, and it's going to be uh, Saints playing pretty aggressively. Going to look for the aerial battles there, but it's a nice save away from Angel Spoods. Going to just blast that one up. Vesh going to maybe find a pass to a teammate there. Spoods taking over his defender. Won't be able to find the finish. It's as big Angel demo. finds a big demo onto Christian Spoods. It's a crucial touch there, even though he has zero boost. Very, very important as Angel's going to be looking for the attack here. Very dangerous opportunity, but it won't be on target. It will be tapped away by Vesha. Saints maybe look to start on the account. Like Yakubi going to be there for the touch of 50 50 between Spoos and Tool here. Very dangerous position here for the Saints, but they're able to clear it out. Spoos going to find a crucial touch there. Yakubi has to make the save here, is able to do so, but it's a great touch across the net. Nobody is there for the side of the Saints. Christian going to take this 50 50 aerial, and Tool's going to be able to tap that one to himself. It's going be looking to take it up, taking it over his defender. And it's going to be a dangerous opportunity for the side of West Virginia, but Saints are there on the defense. Jacoby, though, is able to find the finish, and West Virginia University swiftly take a 1 0 lead. A really good job there of getting around Vesh. That was kind of the key part of it. And then all Jakob has to do is just wait and try to play the dunk off of Christian's touch. That's going to be exactly what he does there. Really good job from West Virginia. As they show, they are no pushovers. They take the lead 1-0. And as the kickoff gets off right now, Christian trying to find a 50, looking for a pass, but it's not going to happen. The Saints have to play a little more patient because when you rush up like that, you give away big time opportunities. As the pass comes through, but Angel just not able to hit the shot. It really should have been one that should have been in. Now Tool's going to try the same thing. He has the double off the backboard, and that's exactly what I was talking about. It was just a little bit of a bad kickoff right there, a uh, little bit of an overcommit as well. They got caught lacking a little bit, and I believe it was actually Spoots who was again left on defense, something that, again, I said I started to notice a little bit in the last uh, couple of series that I've casted of this Saints varsity team. However, uh, you know, West Virginia, 
it may have been a fluke of a game one, but they've certainly sh shown like they've kept their mental. So as Spoots tries to challenge off the ceiling, it seems like every 50 is honestly going in West Virginia's way. Huge clear, but it's just not going to be enough as Christian couldn't get the 100 pad to try to challenge. Angel trying to force a 50 on Devesh, but he's going to get the better of him. Jakob trying to get the 50 on the Spoots, but again, Wins now, finally, on these 50s from the Saints. Oh. They can't get anything going. A little bit of a mistouch from Vesh there that was going to be the setup. Often they leave it down to Christian. 50 coming through. Vesh, you have to try to 50 here, and he's going to do exactly just that. Needs some backup from the team, or you can just back up and absolutely just support the West Virginia defender as he tries to get the backup as well, but it's not going to work. Angel going down the field. He's going to look for that boost heal, and he gets it. Centering the ball now, but now Spoots is going to clear it. I believe Spoots ran out of the flip, yeah, he does not have one. Oh. As this demo comes down, that's going to be a big play. Zero boost on the guy up top. Tool just not able to have the boost to go for the mechanic double. Leaving it for Jakob on the 50. And as that bump comes in, I believe Angel may have gotten bumped there. That would be a shot, but not today. The save coming out, or the clear coming out, my mark me from Vesh, and as Tool tries to center this down, it's just not going to work. Saints doing a good job of holding right now, but you gotta wonder, when will they get some offense? Yeah, I mean, they're doing a great job defending us. Angel's gonna be looking for, for the shot on target Spoods or there for a save. They are down 2-0 with a minute 30. They really need to get on the offensive, and that, you do that quickly, but it is West Virginia on the attack. Again, nice save there from Vesh, able to predict what he was going to do, and he's gonna be able to pass it up towards the middle, but the demos are just coming out on cooldown from West Virginia. Saints just can't seem to get any momentum going as Vesh with a bit of an awkward touch there. Angel will be able to find the counter attack, a nice pass, but Spoods is there for the save, able to control it so well around his net. A minute left, Spoods gonna have to find something crucial here. Pass it over to Vesh, can he find it around the defender? No, it's a great save from Jacobi there, and it's one minute left. Saints really need to pick up a goal here. Great demo there. Could be the start of something big here, but Spoods gets the 50-50 against Tooler. Doesn't go his way. Vesh gonna try to take it around Angel here, but won't find it. And Angel is gonna look for a shot of his own. Vesh won't find that one. There's Tool's gonna look for an attack, but Spoods is there on the save. Great job from him there. Angel's gonna look for a touch toward the Saints net, but not too much power. So St. Clair are gonna be able to clear that one. 30 seconds left. Great pass to Christian. Shot on target. Three defenders are committed to that one. Those should be an easy shot on target here, but a great save from Angel and Spoods gonna look for the follow here. 25 seconds, Saints need a goal and they need a bad, but great def defensive play there from West Virginia University. I think that one is gonna wrap up game two. Right, I mean, as soon as Angel went up, he kind of knew that both of his teammates went up, so the way he positioned himself on that first save was purposely meant so that he knew that second shot was gonna come out. Oh, He did a really good job there of defending, and as Tool has the backboard defense, this one should just drop nice and easy. Ceiling shot, though, trying to get it past the defender, and it's going to happen, but the double not going to be found out. Doesn't matter, though. West Virginia tying up the series in an interesting 1-1 fashion. Yeah, and West Virginia played that one well. The Saints just couldn't seem to get anything going as it felt like they just couldn't get possession of the ball, always had to be on the defensive end. After winning the first game 4-0, struggling to find a goal there, really good adjustment there. Right, and I mean, I think uh, what I will say is the Saints... They're uh, getting stuck on defense a lot, right? Those clears, the 50s just aren't going in their favor. And right now, I think that is the uh, corner, you know, stone or the keystone to why West Virginia had such good success in that game. West Virginia stood really tall and really well on defense as well, you know, like quick clears that came out. They're doing a really good job of just pushing the tempo, but also making sure they're not getting caught lacking in the rotation. Absolutely, as we're going to get started off in game three, 1-1. One, one. Virginia able to get their the last game, so they'll have a bit of momentum alongside them. Let's see how they decide to start off the third game here, and they're going to be, have a bit of a dangerous opportunity. They're just going to find the demo on to Vesh, but Christian is there for the clear tool, finds the demo as well. I have to say the demo difference in this series so far has been in, immense for West Virginia University as they find another one on to Christian, just not letting the Saints members breathe, but the Saints are standing tall. They're making sure they're still making the important save that the Angels going to look for a shot on target. A very dangerous one at that, and Tool is able to find the finish as Spoods just trapped between two players, could not find the save there, and it's a disastrous start in Game 3 for the side of the Saints. Right, and I mean, what I will say there is the play comes out, the demos are coming out from Tool. He's doing a really good job of isolating the Saints defenders and creating that frontwards pressure. What I will say is the Saints, 
it, it's just tough, right? Because Tool is coming off of so much boost. He's getting these steals. You can't move if you don't have boost away from this defender. It's just really, you know, or sorry, this attacker. It's just really tough if you're a Saints player. And even though those demos didn't literally, like, impact the play right as they happen, they impact the play immediately after because it just creates a lot of people spawning in in these predictable positions because they have to be one of the two corners and you only got 33 boosts when you spawn in. So it just creates kind of a predictable defense and when teams have that, oh like Angel my. does again, this time the demo is going to directly affect the offense. And it's just, again, watch that boost steal from Angel. He's just going to find the demo onto, I believe that was Christian, would have had the save there, but they are doing a really good job of getting aggressive in St. Clair's face. And I wonder if that first game was maybe thrown away just because they weren't willing to push up and get in St. Clair's face. Maybe now that they see how they deal with demos, they realize, hey guys, we just put one disruptor, one backline enforcer into the area, and it's just free passes on free shots, right? So they're going to see how St. Clair can counter this out. Flip reset, looking for the backwards flip. Pull the ball forward, but it's going to be saved out by Spoods. It looks like the clear was going to come in from Spoods, but it seems that we were going to have just a few technical difficulties, hopefully shortly sorted out. If I'm West Virginia, I just keep doing what I'm doing right now, yeah. right? I mean, just get in their face, get the demos. They're not really performing well under pressure, and it makes sense. It's just tough to really defend and get the ball out when you're against this level of talent, and you only got 33 boosts, and you spawn in a very predictable position, right? I mean, the most you can really do is just line up on your backboard, but... Even then, with all the doubles coming in and everything, like they are not scared to probably send a defender up on that backboard and try to find a demo there as well, right? Forcing the yeah. early jump. The Saints are just kind of getting caught on the ground, and it's just it just can't work, right? These wave dashes come in without with or without boost, and they're going to lead to demos or bumps that affect these plays, right? And you know, West Virginia, that's just their formula they're using right now. And if the Saints don't get on top of this quick, it's going to be very bad. It's going to be a very long night for them. Yeah, I mean, uh, we we as we said, we didn't see what happened too much in game one. But Saints definitely were doing something right. But from what we've seen so far, West Virginia just those demos are killing the Saints. Like they they can't really do much about it. They're trying to really find something, but since they're getting demo, they're always on the defensive. They're not even able to start their own attacks. And when they do, the defense from West Virginia has been just amazing in these last two games, not giving up any any really big chances towards the Saints. But Saints. Going to have to find a bit of a comeback here to, to bring the series back. Right. I mean, we'll see how the Saints deal with it. But for now, the storyline is West Virginia doing really good on these demos and really good on this physical play. St. Clair, you got to figure it out as we seem to, I believe, be getting back into the game now. And let's see when the game pops up. We'll, we'll see the score. Yeah. Hopefully, maybe you got to hope the St. Clair are just trying to figure something out in a minute here. And it seems like so far, West Virginia are just still holding. However, I will note that the Saints maybe might be playing a little bit better on defense as the shot goes wide, 50 on from Spoods, and now the clear out should be coming from Besh, but Jakob able to have that boost and able to cut it off. Tool, he's a little overcommitted, but he's going to, you know, just find that back ball, finding that save, finding the 50 onto Spoods. And right now, there's another demo again from Angel. He has been ripping the Saints apart on this back line. And right now, he's going to try to go for a solo play of his own. Demo maybe coming over for Christian, but not quite. Zero boost, trying to force the 50, but Desh is smarter to leave it to the side. However, with the beat coming in from Tool and the downwards pass, it's a really good save by Spoods, but it was also a really good shot by West Virginia. And if they keep up this sort of offense, the Saints won't be able to make save after save like that every single time. Pass maybe coming down from Spoods, but not quite. And right now, Christian with 100. You need to buy time. Really good bang. What can you do with this right now? Flip for a second. He boys for the shot. He's going to opt to oh. leave the Spoods, but the save coming out from Tool. Second shot chance, but no. And now the Saints on the back foot. They have to try to get back right now. Saints not having too much boost, but luckily for them, Angel doesn't shot may be coming out but it's not going to happen tool looking for a bumper a demo it's gonna be cleared up by spoods flip to use to try to propel the ball forward does he have another touch no not quite at least well enough to get over Jakob. tool taking it off the sidewall and it's going to be cleared back into the middle spoods with another great clear away but it's just going to be banged back out western virginia right now they're doing such a oh, good job of staying on their back line double commit for the save and this might be able to open up a chance but angel doing a really good job of keeping himself in position missing that 100 pad though that might come to cost them and we will see right now if this is St. Clair's chance to score. They need to do it right now. Tool able to find the demo yet again that is absolutely crushing with a shot coming through. You have to hope St. Clair puts something on the board, but you might be thinking it might be a little too late. 
Yeah, I mean, Saints just had a great attack there, but West Virginia just seemed to have a defender at the right place at the right time. Let's see how the Saints are going to be doing here. 54 seconds left. Really have to turn it up a notch to really bring themselves back in this game and this series as West Virginia going to look for an attack here. It's a shot attempt from Yakby and Angel won't be going in. Great save there from Spoos on the line. Not only can go by him, another shot off the post. The Saints are just stacking their members on top of each other, able to save everything away. Great defense there from Vesh as well. And the 30 seconds left, West Virginia on this attack, just burning so much clock. You would think the Saints just can't do much to bring this game back. Right, and as the game does start to go down, we're going to see the pass off the wall. And it seems like, oh no, uh oh, it seems like there's been a disconnection. That really sucks. But we have to assume with 20 seconds left that West Virginia was going to take the lead yeah. on the series, two to one. And, you know, it's unfortunate, but. Again, West Virginia was just doing a really good job of getting in St. Clair's face. Yet again, they get the 2-0 lead, and then all they have to do is hold and burn time, and they did a beautiful job of doing that. They did, and uh, you know, a bit of technical difficulties. We're going to throw it to a very, very quick break, but we'll be right back with Game 4.
Welcome back, everybody, to Game 5 between St. Clair College and West Virginia University. We had a bit of technical difficulties, but West Virginia were not able to close out the series, and St. Clair won the last game 2-1, which was sent both these teams to a Game 5. Not again, please. One at that, but not again, please. We might get a little bit of a disconnect to start off here, too. We're doing some, some donuts here for uh, us. Okay, but. what I can say is, yeah. what we can confirm is that St. Clair did win that yes. fourth game 2-1. to one. So, although we haven't bugged out of the lobby just yet. So, I, you know, who knows? You know, it is, it is what it is. Hopefully we reconnect. I believe, could we join back? That might happen. I have no clue. This is really unfortunate, yeah. but sometimes it just, it happens, right? It is what it is. You can't control it. Yeah. Uh, hopefully what the Saints can control is getting this win. You know, you do hope to see them pull through. But I got to give all credit to West Virginia right now. They look solid. And uh, even with it going 2-2, I will say I'm proud of the Saints for bringing it to 2-2. Because, again, there's a new varsity team, new lineup, and they're just getting back into things. And, uh, you know, it's going to be interesting to see how they fare up against competition. So I think as we hear a bit of game audio, I believe we will be getting into the game shortly. There we that are. is the case. Three minutes left. Please don't crash again, hopefully not. Spoots is going to get the first save as Tool shoots and Angel is going to try to set up for the sidewall, but it's not going to happen. Vesh on the clear, but now Tool taking it back up again. What can he do with only eight boosts? He's gonna opt to play it slow. One boost now is gonna flick to the side. Hopefully Yak gets a touch for him. Not going to happen though as Christian shifting it away. And now he's going to try to find the pass. A little bit of a side bouncer, but it didn't have the speed to quite connect. Vesh is going to try to get the 50, but not but Christian with another demo. That's really been kind of the uh, story of the series so far, is just demos going on more side of West Virginia than they are for St. Clair. They're just not finding any aggression on West Virginia's back line. And I think you just gotta give credit to West Virginia for uh, being able to rotate out. Oh, Such a nice a pass goal. on the side of Jakob. I mean, he knew exactly where he wanted to put that thing. He had Angel on a string, and Angel absolutely slaps a laser through the middle of the Saints net, catching the Saints on bad rotation yet again, as West Virginia takes an early lead and a good tempo starter in 1-0. Yeah, you can see how big and uh, just a tiny mistake is when you play against the best of the best. One missed rotation and West Virginia University instantly taking advantage of that one. Saints now on the back foot. From what we've seen so far in this series, not doing too well off the back foot when they concede first. Gonna look to come back in this game. Vesh gonna look for an attack of his own. Christian's gonna get demoed yet again by two such big demos all series long for West Virginia here. They're able to start off the counter attack of their own, but the defense will be there from Christian and Spoods. Able to pass the ball back very nicely, but two will find that flip there. Vesh gonna look for an attack here. Gonna let's take it over. His defender will do so. Can anyone be there for the follow-up? There's gonna be a shot on target. What a save from two Kind of just pins it against the ground there. A very crucial one at that, and now West Virginia looking for an attack of their own. Let's see how they decide to play this one. There's going to be a shot on target from Yakov. He saved away by Christian. Vesh going to take it around his defender, but tools is there for the knock. Christian's going to look to maybe start an attack, but gets a right to Angel. It's a dangerous attack from Angel, but a great defense from Swoos. The shot will come out from Yakov. He just misses the target, but gets a nice little recenter. It is cleared away by the side of the Saints. Tool's going to go for the attack here. Can he find a nice pass to a teammate here? He will, but Angel Man. won't find it there. No defenders, though, at the back post. Tool just drops in and finds the goal. Let's see how it happened again. Two defenders go to contest Angel and Tool just has the open net and maybe puts the nail in the coffin into the same player here. Well, you never know with a minute left. However, what I will say is it's looking pretty dead in the water right now. Yeah. St. Clair have not been in West Virginia's side at all. This ball feels like it's been stuck in the orange end. Jakob with, I believe, nope, didn't quite get the flipper set. He's challenged now Angel trying to find a clean recovery, and he's going to get the 50 as well. Saving boost, just trying to be a thorn in St. Clair's side. Christian taking it up. He's going to have the touch. Can he try to beat the defender? No, not quite. He drops the backboard, but however, oh. it's going to be a redirect, and it's going to be passed out to Vesh, and Vesh is actually going to be able to just finally find that goal that's Sinclair needed so badly. Good job on Christian for just moving Tool enough to the point where he can get back to that ball. 
Finally, St. Clair gets on the board. With 39 seconds, it'll take a little bit of a miracle to get it back. However, it is Rocket oh. League, and anything could happen. That's a dangerous ball, though, cleared out by Spoots. And as the clears and the centers come in, it's looking all like West Virginia as they do have the boost numbers. Spoots clearing out the ball, but Angel able to cut it off. This should be a shot now from Jakob, oh. and maybe a redirect, but no, not quite. It's going to be forced out. Tool, can he have the ceiling pass down from Angel? Demo coming in, and that should be another shot. But Spoots again sticking on that goal line. That was such a beautiful team play on the side of West Virginia, but it isn't looking good for the Saints. They don't have all their men downfield. They need to start throwing all their eggs into one basket, and this challenge needs to be won. It's not going to happen with that touch. Angel should have put the Vesh? nail in the coffin, but hold on. Vesh has a touch off the side. Can Christian find the shot going oh. underneath? And Vesh just couldn't put it away. You thought that maybe the touch off the wall, maybe Vesh could have had it, but it just didn't happen. The ball falls very slowly, very innocently, yet very tragically to the ground as the Saints just barely by one goal miss out on taking the series goes to West Virginia in your series of three to two going to game five a very intense series there you could see how close these teams are matched up but in the end Saints just could not find it their three two victory for West Virginia and I mean we get didn't get to see the, the whole series, you know, a bit of technical difficulties. We can't control that, but things happen. But what we do know is it was an absolute banger. Saints won the first game 4-0, if I'm not wrong. Second game, West Virginia took 2-0. Third game, 2-0 as well. Fourth game, it was 2-1 for the Saints. And fifth game, West Virginia took it 2-1 and are able to take the series. Right, and I really do wish that we were able to have that uh, Saints game that they did win game 4, 2-1. But again, technical difficulties, I mean... You know, this stuff just kind of happens. It is what it is. Yeah. It doesn't happen very often, thankfully. But, you know, it's something that we can control. <laughs> so yeah. what what we can control, though, is what happens tomorrow. So what are we broadcasting tomorrow, Theo? Yeah, tomorrow we're back at 7 p.m. I believe it is Call of Duty. We have both Academy and Varsity playing tomorrow. So it's just a doubleheader of Call of Duty. Should be fun times. But let's wrap it up for today. So our Academy team taking on it Kennesaw, was Kennesaw. Kennesaw, Kennesaw State. that was a very, uh, very one-sided series our Saints were able to take the 3-0 there in dominant fashion and we just saw our Saints play against Virginia Tech here could not get the win do go down 3-2 so uh, good day for our Saints really showing that they can fight and compete with the best of them but with that being said, we want to say thank you to our sponsors. we got Tim Hortons, Subway, HyperX, the SRC, and the St. Clair Alumni Association. We also want to th say thank you to everyone in the back who makes this stream possible. And if you don't want to miss any Saints action, follow us on all of our social medias. We update uh, everything there every single day so you can stay up to date with the latest St. Clair stuff. Anything else you want to say to close out the day? Uh, no, not really. I mean, you kind of wrapped it up perfectly. Uh, what I will say, okay, no, maybe I will touch on one thing. What I will touch on is that the Academy uh, squad, I, you know, I got the two winners of these series right. I just didn't predict the right score. But to be fair, I didn't think the Academy team was going to sweep, and I did not think St. Clair was going to put up as big of a fight as they did, obviously. When the wins didn't go their way, yes, they were in pretty dominant fashion. But taking two games off of West Virginia, again, a top team in CRL, and we do have a new lineup. I'm not trying to make excuses for these guys here, but what I am trying to say is uh, they played well. They played really well for a start, and I expect big things out of both of these lineups going forwards. Yeah, and uh, with that being said, we're going to be seeing you guys tomorrow at 7 p.m. for some Call of Duty action. Thank you guys for watching, and have a good night.